Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called the Royal Edinburgh GC. It was originally designed in PGA Tour 2019 and ported across into 2K21. And just recently it's undergone extensive a revamp in 2k23 so looking forward to playing this one now i'm going off the white tees which are just over 7800 yards so it's going to be a long long course so let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway Okay, now then we got a what looks like a floating marker pole there. Interesting. I'm going to avoid. There's a bunker there in the middle of the fairway, but I'm not going to reach that, especially in this wind. I don't think. I'll try and keep it to the left though. Quite a drop here. Got to be careful we don't go too far, but it's into the wind, so it's going to hold us back. I think I might stick with a five iron here, to be honest. I am on an upslope, though. Yeah, I'm going to go with a four iron. Pulled it left. Need to work on my swing plane. It's been really bad recently. This is going to be quick. It's a foot downhill. Bit of work left in this one. Uh, this is going to be a tricky drive. And the bottom of the hill there. Fairway gets quite narrow. Could do with a little bounce to the left, but I don't think it's going to get it. I think it's going to go the other way. Yep. That's a shame. Hundred and thirty five, but it's uphill, so it's going to be about hundred and forty five. It's not a very good lie either. Okay, let's try the nine nine. Oh no, that's a dreadful shot.
Oh, it's a shame it kept running. Oh, not hard enough. Okay, onto the third par four dog leg into the wind. Fairway's going to slope down to the left as well. See if I can knock this one close. It's going to be playing about 174 yards. I'm on quite a steep downslope, actually, so it's going to shoot forward a bit. Too much break in this. Hmm. Yeah, good putt. Back to even par. This one's going to be playing about 207 yards, but there's a wind behind. So five iron, I would say, is probably about right here. Except I feel it's slightly slow. It needs to go. Whoa, ended up going too far after all that. Nice up and down to save par. Now the fifth hole here, we've got a par four. Dog leg right. Wind is helping here. I don't think I can carry that tree though, so I'm going to try quite a big draw. in good shape I like what the course designer has done with the bunkers I think that's really nice you don't want to go in there as I found out earlier on it's a tough bunker shot now then 100 and it's going to be playing about 111 Got a wind behind It's going to come up short. It's 
looks straight as well. Yeah, the green so far have been quite flat. This is a lovely undulating fairway. This is going to be a tough shot because everything's going to kick down to that left-hand side. I'm going to try... I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try a big fade. I don't think that's going to come around enough. That's going to be in trouble. That's in that deep bunker. Oh, it's stuck on the bank. Oh, that's even worse. Okay, well, thankfully it's a par five, so I'm going to have to be really careful here. And I'm going to lay up. I've got a horrible light. Ball is well above my feet. Need to aim it a long way to the right. Oh dear, that could be in trouble as well. To name it far enough right, look at it roll. Oh, I'm struggling here, but it is a par five, so I should be able to at least make par. do with that slowing down that's pretty good from there another straight putt thankfully that's a nice birdie because I was in trouble there wow that's a really spectacular looking hole I like that Okay, so strong wind off that right-hand side, 13 miles, 12 now, 198, I think I'm going to try the 5-iron, but I'm going to increase the loft a little bit, take some of the distance off, but this needs a good swing. Slightly fast. Needs to get down, I think. Yeah. Okay, quite a bit of break from left to right on this one. too hard as it wasn't too bad now yeah, this is a a pretty par four but it's a tricky one it's back into the wind I'm going to try the driver but take all of the loft off and hope it doesn't run into the... I'm not so sure because it goes downhill there. It's quite steep downhill. Yeah, I'm going to try... This, this is probably going to end up... See, the problem is if I hit a three wood, I'm a long way back for my second shot into that wind. But the driver potentially is going to go too far. Oh, 
And it's going to run all the way down that slope, I think, into trouble. Yeah. Okay, well, that's not too bad. It's light rough, 92 to 95% lie range. A mile an hour wind. Got to be careful I don't hit the wildlife there. A little fast again. Tricky little one here for par. Okay, so we close out the front nine with a par five back, back into the wind, unfortunately. And it's a long one, 600 yards. So this is going to be a three shotter for sure. Just clipped the tree, but hasn't caused too much of a problem. Just lost a few yards on it. That's a good birdie. I'm pleased with that one. Well, I enjoyed the front nine. So when you start the back nine, par four. Wind off the left. Now, 74 plus about 8. It's going to be playing about 82 yards. Wind off the left. It's right in between clubs. Either the gap wedge or the sandwich. I'm going to hit the gap wedge, I think, and I'm going to increase the loft to take some of the yardage off. Oh, it was a pitch, I didn't realise. Well, I got away with that. I do that quite often. Sometimes on that sort of range of shot, I forget to check the HUD in the top right-hand corner to see if it's given me a, a normal shot or a pitch shot. But on that occasion, I did get away with it. And let's see if I can capitalise on that and, and roll this one in for birdie. Just a subtle right-to-left break on it.
another par four. Gonna hit a bit of draw here. Just try and take it around that corner. Oh, three wood. Now then, let's see where the driver goes. Yeah, that's fine, but it's going to need... I don't think I can carry that tree. The ball flight, as you know, is lower in this version of the game than the previous one. So I'm going to hit the draw and hope I can go around the tree. Oh. That's okay. Just clip the light branches, but it's gone through. It's fine. Similar sort of shot to the previous hole, and it is a pitch. Slightly uphill, so it's going to be playing approximately 83 yards. Got a couple of par fives to come on the back nine. And here's one of them at the 12th. Dog leg to the right. Wind off the left. It's going to help a little. Now, this is risky. It's reachable, but with that wind behind, I'm probably going to go too far and end up in the lake. So, what options have I got? I could lay up to about here somewhere and try the pitch. But I'm really tempted to try and knock this one on the green. We can take 10 yards off the distance. That's 223. 223 plus that wind. I'm going to have a go with the 4-iron. bit nervous about this, but I think it should be okay. I need it to get down quickly. That's not too bad. Chip and a putt here for birdie, if possible. That's a great chip. Simple tap in birdie to take me to minus six. Another dog leg at 13. Now this is back into the wind, so this is going to be playing long. Don't want to get too close to those trees on the right-hand side, otherwise I might block myself out.
That's a bit of a weird looking swing. Safely on the green, that's the main thing. Outside chance of a birdie. Two inches downhill. That's turning left too soon. Over the water. It's quite a long one as well. 225. Wind off the left. Hmm. My five wood is going to be a little bit long, but the four iron's not long enough. I'm going to have to hit the five wood, but this, like I say, this is probably going to go too far. If I hit it right, the wind will help me slightly, but not much. Oh no, I didn't anticipate that. I made a right mess of that. That's wet. So where is it going to drop me? In the rough. Well, that's not ideal, but I don't really want to play that tee shot again. So we need to try and get down from, into, from here if I can. This is not easy. If it goes beyond the hole, it's going to run off the green. Tempted to play a chip shot, but I'm going over water, which is a bit nerve wracking to say the least. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I wonder about the flop shot. Let's try the flop. That's not a bad option. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Yeah, that's okay. Right, let's try and roll this one in. Okay, just a bogey. Not too bad. Having been in the water off the tee, it's all about damage limitation. The dog leg. This is the uh, the second of the two par fives on the back nine, I believe. I'm gonna go for the big cut shot here. Oh, hang on, that's a three wood. Let's, let's reset. Right. This is going to have to be a very big cut shot. Oh no, I didn't send it far enough left. Okay. Not too bad. I think it would have been a three shotter anyway, but that's okay.
I really like the style of those bunkers. That's really clever. I like that. Very effective. Now then. 88 yards, slightly uphill. Yeah, I'm going to be pushing my luck with a sand wedge. Let's try the gap wedge, but with some increased loft and a little bit of backspin on it. Not bad. Oh, I could do with this one. Just a subtle left to right break on it. That's a good birdie. Makes up for the drop shot on the previous hole. Long par four here, dog leg left. That's a nice drive. What have we got here? 152 plus eight. 160 yards. Got that wind. Might need to increase the lot of fraction here. This could be quite good. It needs to bite. Just ran on a bit. Nicely hold. Just two holes remaining. A par four followed by a par three to finish with. I like that water feature in the middle of the pond. It's really nice. Yeah, I'm certainly not going to carry it. Uh, this is downhill. I might chicken out and hit a five, but I think I'm hitting into the wind, so it's not going to travel quite so far anyway. Let's try that. Okay, I'm not sure why it wants me to play over there, but never mind. So we've got 190, well, I'll call it 195 and 96 with that slight incline, but into a 13 mile an hour wind. I think I'm going to plus I'm on an upslope. I'm going to go with the four iron here, I think. The line looks good, but I think it's a fraction long. Will it land soft? Oh, it landed very soft. Oh, what a shot. Even my caddy, who looks just like Justin Johnson. Dustin Johnson? You know what I mean. <laughs> it's been a long day. OK, 
Okay, so a really gorgeous par three to finish with. Look at that. Clubhouse in the background there. Very nice. Now then, tricky, tricky hole to finish with. We've got the wind behind. So it's 162, you can take off about eight. That's 154, 154, but you've got that wind behind. I do need to look at the fittings of my pitching wedge because as you can see I've got a big gap between my 9 iron and my pitching wedge. I need to sort that out at some point. So what I'm going to have to do here I think is hit the 9 iron but increase the loft by quite a bit. To be honest with you I'll be happy with anywhere on the putting surface. Oh, it's a bad swing. Yeah, it's on the green, but nothing great. Right, just two putts from here, please. I'll be quite happy with the par here. Don't think I've hit that far enough left, have I? Or have I? Hold the line! Hold the Oh, Good try. Solid par to finish with. Well, I really like that course. It was good fun to play. There was something quirky going on in the first hole with that floating marker pole. But um, no, really good course. Thoroughly enjoyed it. If you get a chance to play it, that's the Royal Edinburgh GC. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate it. So take care, everyone. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.